Welcome Gemini, my beautiful, beautiful Geminis. Welcome. This is going to be a general reading. We're going to take a look at what's going on. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't, make sure to take a look at your other placements and let's get into it because the cards really want to tell me something already. Okay. Okay. Your current energy. We have free yourself. You know, it's time to take back control of your life. So you may feel a little out of control at the moment. We also have attraction at the bottom. So there may be someone who's really attracting your attention, Gemini. Someone's kind of keeping you off kilter here, right? Um, kind of taking your focus. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. You know, there's someone who has your eye. And I feel like they're kind of drawing you in here, right? Let's get some more energies for Gemini. Energies for Gemini. Patience. Archangel Jaffiel, your dreams are blooming and, and more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. So, be patient with the situation. There's a situation that you're dealing with that, you know, you need to be patient with. You know, let, let things flow. Whether this is in work and love or in your life in general, you know, let things flow. We also have overcoming difficulties, right? Archangel Jeremel, the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. So whatever obstacles that you were going through, those are just going to move on past. You're going to move on into that calmer period, right? So let's get some more energy. More energy for Gemini, please. More energy for Gemini. Chaos and conflict. Yeah, that's that, That's those difficulties that you're moving through. You know, change. Chaos and conflict. Things are changing. And they might take you a little bit off of balance. But I feel like you, you will be moving past the situations. I feel like you're going to be asking you, yourself, why? Why is this situation going through right now? You know, or why is this person coming through right now when I'm so focused? You know, but and I feel like things come in their divine timing. Just have a little bit of patience. Things will work out just like you need them to. Okay. So let's take a look at the tarot. What's going on with Gemini? Messages for Gemini, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Spirit, give me the message that they need to hear. What do they need to know? Tell me, what does Gemini need to focus on right now? What messages do you have, Spirit? Okay. Temperance. There's that patience. The King of Cups. Okay. Tell me about the near future. Tell me about the near future. Wow. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. Okay, what is Gemini's current energy, please? Give me their current energy. The Eight of Cups. So, yeah, you're going through it, uh, Gemini. There may be chaos and conflict around you. You're trying to look for things to let go of. You're just ready to get out of this energy. Um, in the, the, the near past, you know, you've had patience. You've really 
try to watch something blossom, watch something bloom. It could be this King of Cups energy that was surrounding you. You may have been in a relationship or, you know, you may have been, been dealing with this energy yourself. You know, just feeling very nurturing, very caring, very giving. Um, but I feel like you're letting things go. You're working on yourself. You're working on freeing yourself, right? You're working on freeing yourself, Gemini, because there's some things that 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 may be currently going on that you don't fully understand, but you're trying to find the clarity in them, right? You're having patience. You're waiting. You're really waiting for something to happen. You could be waiting for this King of Cups. You know, you're waiting for that relationship to blossom, to flow, but you see that it's not going anywhere. So you're like, mm -mm, I can't do it. This I have to let go. They're, they're just leading me nowhere, right? Um, this could be a job that you once loved, you know, that you see isn't going any further. So you want to fulfill your career at the bottom we have the capricorn so we get the excuse me the capricorn yeah definitely the devil card so and i i feel like in your readings gemini i feel like i get this a lot so there could be a capricorn that you're dealing with or this could be um one of your placements okay but <clears throat> I feel like there's negative energy that you're trying to move away from. There's some kind of old beliefs, maybe, uh, that you're trying to free yourself from. It, but and I feel like it's negative energy. I feel like you, you're trying to find this clarity, right? Um, because we have the, in the near future, we have the Ace of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. So you really want to make something clear because you're you're trying to build on your stability to, you know, make things happen. But I feel like you're currently in this waiting mode, you know. You're waiting for that stability to come in. You're waiting for that clarity, right? And you feel like, you know, I'm Gemini, I'm tired of waiting. I'm ready for this to happen already, right? So, let's clarify these cards a little bit. Tell me more for Gemini. I want to make sure they're all in view. There we go. Okay. Tell me more about these cards. Spirit, give me a message. Look at this. The Eight of Cups again. So your current energy is definitely leaving something behind. You're moving away from some kind of energy. You're like, I'm done. I had it. You know, I'm not feeling this way again. You're just ready for something to be over with. Right? So let's get some more energy for Gemini. Tell me more about this temperance card. Give me a message for the temperance. The High Priestess. Wow. The Ten of Cups. The Two of Swords. There's that Two of Wands again. So you're definitely still waiting. And the King of Cups again. You're waiting for that King of Cups to come around. You haven't given up hope for them. You know? You've had so much patience. You've really been thinking about this. You feel like this King of Cups energy is going to, you know, bring you some kind of happiness. You know, if you're already in a relationship, I feel like, you know, you're waiting for this King of Cups to make some kind of move or kind of um, make some kind of commitment. But I feel like in a way, Gemini, I feel like you kind of, you're depending on this King of Cups to make you happy. And I feel like you're waiting. You're waiting for it. 
you know, why are you waiting so much? You're waiting for your stability. You're waiting on this King of Cups. You're not able to make the hard choices, right? You're all up in your head and you're waiting for some kind of situation to, to happen here. Okay? So, what is going on, Gemini? <clears throat> What's going on with this? Tell me more about the High Priestess. Tell me more about the High Priestess. I feel like you may have to trust yourself and your own guidance. You know, trust that you are enough to make yourself happy. Okay? Um, if you can't make yourself happy, no one else will. That kind of situation. Tell me about this High Priestess, please. Give me a message. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. You're wondering if you put too much energy in the situation, if it's even worth the uh, any more effort. You're wondering because you feel like you put so much energy in the into this situation, and it's not giving you what you want. You're ready to. Just let let it go and move ahead, you know, but you're you're not able to really make that hard decision to let go. OK, you're looking for that clarity, that epiphany, that, you know, certain sudden change that is like, OK, this is my sign. This is my sign that it's time. It's time to let this go. It's time to move ahead. You know, you're in this waiting period. You're waiting for something to happen. Your, you have great spirit and great hope that things will change, Gemini, but I feel like you're not able to make some kind of important choice. It's too difficult. Maybe you're choosing between two people. You know, we have a lot of twos here. There's a lot of union. A lot of twos. The high priestess. You know? Two. The ace of... Uh, excuse me. The two of swords. Two. Two of wands. Two. Two of wands. Two. We have a lot of twos here. And we also have a lot of eights. You know, with these two eight of cups cards. So, there is definitely something... That needs to be released. Something, something that you may be holding on to that you need to let go of. Right? So tell me more about this Ten of Cups. Tell me more about this King of Cups, Ten of Cups energy. Give me a message, Spirit. Yeah, you're moving out of this. Or actually, you could have been just moving in with this King of Cups. But I feel like this situation um, where there's doubt over here, wondering if you're making the right choices, wondering if you put in, in enough effort or if they're putting in enough effort. Um, I feel like you're moving into more happiness, more stability, more calm. You could be literally moving to a new job, new apartment, new um, situation. Okay, um, but I feel like you're definitely moving out of the feeling of being uncertain, right? about this ace of swords two of swords energy give me a message for this what, what is this ace of swords two of swords what is this clarity and choices here what is this the king of wands i think you have a idea of what it is that you want in your mind and you're fully clear on what this is, right? 
I feel like, Gemini, you're attracting a certain person. You're trying to attract a certain person, a certain job, a certain situation. And, you know, you see this in your mind's eye, but you keep getting this emotion. This King of Cups keeps coming in, but you're like, I want this King of Wands. I want this fire, this excitement, this, you know, um... You know, I'm ready to get out of these emotions and I want more, right? And I feel like you're kind of, you're stuck here, but you're not because we have the hermit on the bottom. So I feel like, you know, you're at this point where you definitely know exactly what it is that you want, Gemini. And this. You're waiting for this King of Wands, but the King of Cups is what keeps coming back to you, right? So I feel like, you know, either you have your eye on someone else and you're stuck with this King of Cups. You want this King of Wands energy. You want this fire. It could be an Aries, um, Leo, Sagittarius. But you're stuck with this King of Cups, this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, right? Could be any sign, but... You know, I, I feel like the the King of Cups, I feel like this is older energy. So this may be some kind of relationship that you've been in a while. This King of Wands energy, he's coming in with this new, fresh, fiery, you know, excitement. And I feel like that's what you're waiting on. And you're having a hard time choosing Maybe you're choosing between these two people and you know you have to let something go, but you're not able to make that choice, right? Tell me about this Four of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles, Two of Wands. The King of Pentacles. There we go. We have three kings in here now. So I, I definitely feel like, you know, you're waiting for some kind of stability, some kind of commitment. You're waiting for someone to be loyal to you. Maybe you feel like this King of Wands energy is a player and this King of Cups energy, they may have hurt your heart one too many times. You know, you're looking for someone who's going to come in and just bring you stability. Someone who's loyal, who's not a cheater, who... You know, only has eyes on you and your situation. You know, I feel like you're kind of focused. Um, that's definitely something that you have in the back of your mind that you want. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. So we have the Nine of Cups and the Five of Swords. So, and I feel like there's... There's a lot of conflict about going after something that you're dreaming, okay? There may be arguments with uh, someone that you care about, you know, but I feel like there's arguments about pursuing your dreams. You're fighting over something that you really want to do, that you really want to put your focus on. Tell me more about this. Yeah, you're ready to walk away. You're ready to walk away to pursue your dreams. You know, you're you're feeling like, you know, you're waiting for something, you know? You're waiting for them to kind of back you up and give you the, the go-ahead to, you know, okay, now it's time to focus on yourself. But they're giving you a lot of backlash. They're like... It's not the right time. We don't have enough money. You know, um, we can't pursue your dream just now. We have to get through this. We have to get through another situation, right? But you're ready to walk away from the situation because you feel so strongly about something that you really want to pursue. I feel like you focused on other things for so long. You've had a lot of patience. And you put your focus elsewhere to maybe make someone happy or make your parents happy or, you know. Um, 
But I feel like now you want to focus on you. You want the attention to be on you. What do what does Gemini want? You know, it's time to do what Gemini wants to do. Right? So, yeah. But there's a lot of fear here. There's a lot of fear here to take action. You know that there may be something that you need to walk away from, but you you have fears and doubts that you're trying to overcome. And I feel like there, there's someone who's offering you some kind of good news. You know? Someone's offering you some kind of good news. Maybe it's help to help you make a decision. Maybe it's good advice. But I feel like someone's coming in to kind of give you, yeah, it's, it's advice. They're coming in to give you clarity, to help you get a better understanding, to, you know, let you know that the focus needs to be on you. What are, what are your dreams? What are your desires? What, it is, what is it that you want right now, Gemini? You know, do you want this King of Wands? Do you want this King of Cups? Do you want this new career? You know, place it where it resonates. But I feel like you're definitely standing on your truth. You're not backing down. You're kind of demanding that you are seen and heard. Right? And I feel like someone is giving you that advice to where, yes, you know, you deserve this. This is something that you deserve. You work very hard. And you are able and capable of pursuing what it is that you want. Right? Look at this. The sun on the bottom. Definitely. You have the ability, Gemini, to be happy in whatever it is that you're doing. You have the ability to have that understanding. Right? I believe that you're demanding it. You're demanding it. You know, understand exactly how I feel. I'm not going to feel left out in the cold again. You know, um... I'm not going to feel left out again. You know, you're not going to put me last. You're going to put me first. I'm putting myself first. Right? So I feel, I feel like you are really going after what you dream and desire. Okay? Let's get an outcome for Gemini. Let's get an outcome. What does Gemini need to hear right now? What does Gemini need to hear right now, please? Messages for Gemini. Okay. Yeah, I believe that you're going to come to some kind of clarity. The Eight of Pentacles. The Five of Cups. Wow. And the Chariot. Okay. At the bottom, we have the Page of Swords. So, I feel like something's revealed to you. You know, if this isn't something that's revealed to you, this is you going, um, being very curious, searching for what it is that you're looking for. You know, something is being revealed though. And I feel like it gives you a lot of wisdom. You're looking for that clarity. You're going within to find the answer. So you're trusting yourself with that high priestess energy, right? And I feel like you want to work on Gemini. You're putting in the effort. There may be something that you're mastering, something that you are really trying to build up the courage to go for. Right? There could be some kind of hobby, some kind of job, some kind of career that you feel like you're very good at. Like you have total capability of doing. And you're like, you know, this is what I want. This is what I dream of doing. So I'm going to pursue this. Right? Um, this could be a new career that you're looking at. But I do feel like you're taking... You're taking what's important with you and you're leaving all the, all the rest behind. You're like... You know, these two cups are very important to me. Those, yeah, you can go. It's time to go now. Right? 
So um, it could be with the Five of Cups situation that maybe you have lost a lot in the past. And now it's kind of hard to focus on what you have left. You know, that's for some of you. Uh, but I feel like with this chariot card, I feel like you're moving. You're moving into a better position. Um, possibly a better home, better house. But you're moving out of this energy. That's the important thing. You're moving out of this energy of feeling of lack, of grieving something that you've lost. Having that kind of, um, could be a lot of depression. We have the Eight of Cups twice, so, and the Nine of Swords. So it could be that you're moving away from those feelings. But I really feel like you're putting yourself first. You're making yourself a priority, Gemini. And that's beautiful energy. When you can make yourself a priority. Focus on your needs. Focus on your wants, your desires. What are the things that you dream of? You know? Yeah, look at that. Focusing on your gifts. Focusing on the opportunities. Being curious about the opportunities, right? And this actually... I'm getting that... Now, this is just going to be for some of you, but I feel like there's someone who has had their eye on you for a long time, Gemini. Um, they've been watching you for a long time, kind of seeing you in awe, right? They're very curious about you. They're curious about your situation. They may be spying on you. They may be, you know, um, watching you when you don't notice. Um, but I feel like this person is all in their head because they feel like Gemini has so many opportunities, so many beautiful char characteristics that, you know, they may find so valuable. Yeah. They, they find you as very independent. They find you as pursuing something just rushing in to battle like you know but they find you very independent very worthy like you're very successful that luxurious lady right and they're seeing you as these things and this person is really missing you. That's not for all of you. It, there's that devil card again. This, this could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. Or it could be Capricorn energy. Right? When I see the devil, I don't really see a very negative card all the time. Now, sometimes I do. Because the devil can be codependency. It can be addiction, something very negative surrounding you, something binding you, right? Um, but this is also Capricorn. So a lot of times when I see the devil card, I see Capricorn energy. Now I use my intuition to see if I see other things around it. You know, if there's any negative energy, if I see any, any, if I feel any negativity with that card. But I'm really not feeling any any negativity with that card. I feel like I feel like it could be a Capricorn who's watching you, right? It's a Capricorn who has their eyes on you. And they're very curious. They see how wealthy and independent you are. They find you as fierce, as a real go-getter, as winning at all costs, you know? Um, I feel like they see you as a winner, Gemini, as someone that they can really build with, someone that they can really, you know, go a long distance with, right? Yeah, I feel like this Capricorn is coming in and they really want to bring in stability. They may want to partner up with you. 
But I feel like they're making you a priority, right? And let's get a monology card. We have conclusions are within reach. So you're going to get the clarity that you're seeking, Gemini. Don't let the past hold you back. Definitely. Yeah, there may be past situations that, you know, could have held you back in the past. But I feel like it's time to let those things go. It's time to release them, right? Hold your vision. Be focused. Be focused. Be focused on what you dream of. Okay, I feel like it's very important. Okay, Gemini, let's get an angel number. Oh, first of all, let's get a timeline. Oh, the momentum is rolling. Stay positive. It's on the way. So it, it's, it's going to be time for you to... Take the focus. Your timeline is it's on the way. At the bottom you have, you have to remain consistently positive once that happens within two months. So the momentum is rolling. Stay positive. It's on the way. And you have to consistently remain positive, right? Once that happens within two months. So I, I think the spirit is giving you a very obvious message, you know, um, there. And I feel like, you know, you, you're positive for some time and you really have your emotions on a certain situation. But then it kind of loses it, its gleam and glitter and you're like focused on something else. So it's time to remain positive, Gemini. OK, let's get an angel number. Beautiful. One, 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 destiny. Okay, follow what you feel. Listen as your intuition helps to guide you to what you are manifesting. The inner whispers are helping you to create all that is that you desire. Listen, lean in, and follow your soul. Life is always happening for me. I am allowing myself to lean in to what feels good okay that is your affirmation gemini okay so if this reading resonates like and subscribe and i hope this reading um finds you well gemini okay if it doesn't resonate make sure to take a look at your other placements they may be resonating with you more and until your next reading my gems Many blessings to you, love and light.